What's up everyone? Stoner here from AudioEcstasyProductions.com. Today we're going to talk about some ways that you can EQ your guitar tone without ever touching an EQ. Let's check it out. Alright, so uh, I was recently recording some, uh, some new songs with my band Thieves and Lovers and the guitar setup that I was using uh, w wasn't allowing for uh, a specific type of sound. I was using one of my uh, custom strats, it just has a, a P90 in the bridge position and I was using my little Vox Lunchbox amp which sounds amazing, I use it on almost everything. Um, but it's only got two uh, tone controls, high and low. I couldn't get the tone that I was looking for so I sort of had to find some workarounds and that led me to uh, want to create this video. When I was um, sort of brainstorming ideas for this, uh, they just kind of kept coming, like simple ways, inexpensive, uh, easy ways that you can EQ your sound without touching an EQ. It doesn't really matter what your guitar amp setup is, what kind of tone you're going for. These things, uh, these ideas are a little more abstract than that, but uh, you can use them pretty much at any time. So let's dive right in. Okay, so tip number one is uh, what kind of pick are you using? Um, I find that thicker picks are brighter. They have more of an attack. So if you are playing a part like a rhythm acoustic part, maybe a thinner pick might be in order. They, I find thinner picks to be a little warmer, a little rounder, uh, a little less transient. So you know, a little more compressed. So really, I mean, you know, some people have the gauge of pick that they like, and that's it. And I totally get that. But uh, even something as simple as the, the size of the gauge of your pick and the material that it's made from can make a huge difference in your sound. So another thing that you could do is ditch the pick altogether and uh, go with your fingers. That's gonna be the warmest sound that you can get. All right, the next tip is uh, what pickup are you using? If your guitar has more than one pickup, you have access to a really great variety of sounds and especially if you have uh, volume and tone control for each pickup, there's, there's a ton of sounds that you have on tap. Uh, just by playing with combinations of settings. So really think about what pickup is the best thing for what you're playing. A lot of people ride the bridge pickup when maybe the middle position might be a little bit better. So I would really recommend just uh, making sure that the sound that's coming out of your uh, guitar amp speaker is what you're looking for. Uh, you know, make sure that you're in front of it and that you're actually getting the sound that's actually coming out of your amp and making decisions based on that. Alright, the next tip also applies to the pickups, and that is the angle of your pickup and the height of the pull pieces. Now, uh, certain pickups, some of these aren't uh, individually adjustable. Um, sometimes it's sort of like a global kind of thing. But what adjusting the angle of your pickups do is generally give you a balance. So if you want less bass, you're going to pull the bass side of your pickup away from the bass strings same for treble and you can really get a lot out of your guitar with this technique for example um, I find like a Telecaster bridge pickup to be really really bright and uh, I kind of angle it away from the treble strings a lot on mine um, just because it gives a, a better balance for that pickup and it makes it more usable so just think of it in terms like this if you want more of a general I want less bass kind of thing, then you would adjust the pickup angle. And if you want to fine tune the string to string balance, like maybe your G or your B string is too strident and you want to pull that down in the overall sound of the pickup, you would adjust the individual pull pieces. All right, the next tip, what kind of strings are you using? Now I know that it's a huge debate in the guitar world uh, if the gauge of string affects the tone. Personally, I think it absolutely affects the tone, and I find thicker strings to be much fuller than lighter gauges. Now, I'm not here to talk about uh, the history of the science of guitar strings, but there's pretty much five uh, areas of a guitar string that is going to affect the tone. It's the gauge, the composition, what kind of metal is it made from, the string core, how is it made and what is it made from, the winding method, and lastly, the coating, what is the string coated with. Okay, I saved this one for last because it's pretty obvious, but don't neglect your pots on your guitar. Your volume and your tone, and yes, I know a tone control is an EQ, but there is a lot of, of range in playing with the settings of your pots, so 
don't neglect them. If something's too bright, your pickups are too bright, maybe just roll the tone off a bit. Uh, as always, thank you, thank you for watching. We are very new, but please subscribe, share, send us your comments, your criticisms, uh, questions, anything that you would like to know. We'd love to cover it. I'm Stoner with Audio Ecstasy Productions. Cheers, guys.